Hi there, welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to show you how to add your Next.js application to GitHub using GitHub Pages, totally for free. Um, and it's a nice way to host personal and side projects um, that maybe you don't need full infrastructure of Vercel to use. So yeah, let's hop into it. We first want to initialize a repository, which I've done. Um, there was a little button down here, which I just clicked, and you just need to make sure that's a public repository. Um, but it doesn't matter if it is private to begin with, we can obviously change that once we get onto GitHub. Um, and what I'm going to do is just change the next JS to say, welcome to our GitHub page, like that. Um, other than that, everything else is just the default create next app. Um, I think this is now version, oops, not, not that one. Uh, package, I believe it's version 13 now. Yeah, that's right. Um, so I'm using next 13 here, um, just the, as I said, the, the just the default create next app. Um, and all we've done is update, um, uh, yeah, the sort of the title here, H1. So what I'm gonna do is just init that and we can commit and push and we're actually done now in terms of sort of the, I guess, the, the front end side um, and the code, I believe. So what I'm going to do is go over oops, to GitHub, as you can see here, and just refresh the page. And as I mentioned earlier, all we need is to have a public GitHub repository. So if I just go to my repositories, you can see now I've got 71. So GitHub pages is public, as you can see here. And if I scroll down, we can see there's our like init um, and everything sorted, so that's cool. So if we just go to settings over here and we scroll down on the left-hand side under code and automation to pages and click that. And what we can do is obviously, I guess, host um, this site, but we can deploy from a branch um, or we can use GitHub Actions, and I actually prefer that. Um, and it, it seems to be in beta, but it seems to be working quite well. Um, I've got a site currently that, that uses this, um, and we can see here it's suggesting a workflow. And because we have a Next application, there is a, a Next.js workflow um, provided by GitHub. So all we need to do is click Configure. Um, obviously, if you'd prefer to use a branch, you can, let's say, have your main branch or deploy branch. Um, and then every time you merge into that, you can also run actions and it will give you a sort of, a, I guess, a YAML file. Um, uh, or sort of create that within the package um, that you'll be able to do. So, and actually it's very similar to this. So it will create a .github forward slash workflows and then next.js uh, YML, I think short for YAML. And you can see here when we're pushing to main, it's just running this workflow and basically creating um, our page for us. So yeah, you don't need to change anything here um, unless, you, unless you wish to, but what I'm gonna do is start commit. And when that loads, there we go. And I'm gonna actually just move myself <laughs> over onto this side. You can see here, we can commit directly to the main branch or we can create a new branch as well. So if you do want a, let's say a deployment branch or a production um, rather than main, you can do that there. Um, but yeah, so that is now committed. And if I go back to our repo, we should now be able to see that we've got, there you go, GitHub workflows. And it's actually started to build here. So this is a, a hash um, for that particular build. And then you can see it's in progress and it's just doing some checks. And if we want to go into the details, we can do that like so. And it's just running the workflow. And you can see it's doing up uh, sort of, I guess, running through all of these different things. So it's, um, yeah, setting up, um, setting up node, getting the pages, restoring a cache, for example. And then here we'll see if it, if it, it can build the Next.js application. Um, and obviously it might throw some errors and then we can sort of figure those out in the code and, and recommit. Um, but otherwise, I believe if it's just, a, I haven't done anything other than change the title, it should go straight through. But let's just have a look here. And you can see we're doing the build. So I should just mention that it's only available for um, sort of static sites. Um, so it, I think it's running npm next build.
build, or sort of your yarn next build here. So whatever your build command is, that's what it will run to build the site. Um, but it's quite good for obviously static site hosting. So I guess if you want something um, a little bit more uh, robust, then obviously Vercel or Netlify or one of those um, hosting providers will be able to sort of host a, a full application. Um, but yeah, great for static sites uh, like this one. So let me just close off some of these. We can see here um, it seems to have built all okay. So it should just be going through now. And then as soon as we're, we run through this, I'll just show you the URL that you'll get um, at the end. And then I can also show you just an example of what I've used um, to build with this as well. But that's basically how it is. And as I said, if there's any issues installing dependencies or whatever it may be, um, it will also check, for example, let's say your image tag doesn't have the right properties or something in Next.js specific. Um, it will check that at this build stage, obviously, within here. Um, or you can do it in your IDE as well, um, a sort of a, a pre-commit hook, if you wish. Um, but yeah, let's just see. Um, as you said, all we did was change the title to welcome to our GitHub page. So I'm hoping it's going to go through and you can see it's already at two minutes for the build. Um, we can cancel them. And then here's obviously the, the action that it's created as well. And you'll be able to see each of these every time now we um, push to the main branch, it will run this action. And if I just go back into it, I'm just hoping it, it it won't be too long so you can see we've built it now and it's just going through deployment so it's deploying to github pages and that will be the url um, that we will we'll use for that page so there you go you can see success and if i click onto this we should be able to see our welcome to github page like so and that's just uh, obviously said the default uh, next app um, there'll be some things to configure like the logos, for example. So I think because it's a static page, it needs to be um, an absolute path. Um, or actually, sorry, the, the path will be this because um, you've got your username dot github dot io and then forward slash the repository name. So just as an example, um, I've also got one called calendar. So if I go to that one and you'll be able to see that I'm hosting here my static Next.js website. Um, and this is just simply for um, if anyone wants to book in, um, obviously sort of consulting or any help getting their first tech job. So LinkedIn, CV reviews, etc. I'm happy to sort of have at least a 30 minute call uh, to begin with, totally free. Um, so feel free to come to this link, which again, I'll leave in the description box below. Um, again, if you have any issues setting up your next page, um, or anything else related to tech. But yeah, it's quite a simple site, as you can see here. Um, there's actually still um, some styling issues with this embed uh, here. I'm not sure if I can control that. But um, yeah, let's say I wanted to book for the 28th of Feb tomorrow. Um, you can then select the time, for example, that I'm free. Um, and you can go ahead and put some information in and then send that off. Um, and yeah, we'll then set up a call them. But yeah, that's just, as I said, an example of how I'm using GitHub pages to host static sites. And as you can see, it's really quick and simple. Um, and it only took nine seconds to deploy. So GitHub provide all of that for free um, for public repositories. And I think it's a great way to host your personal projects as well. Um, obviously, if you've got like a actual side project or something a little bit more robust, I definitely recommend to lean into Vercel. If you're using Next.js, um, they've got really good infrastructure there. Um, but certainly GitHub pages works well um, for this use case. So yeah, I hope that was useful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.